Why, hello there. It's so nice to finally meet you. And you! I've just recently finished reading Clockwork Orange. It was quite good. But I've yet to read any of your other novels. Of course not. Nobody ever does. I'm sorry to hear that. You haven't seen that blasted movie, have you? I've only recently discovered films, so I have not seen the movie yet, no. Oh, good. You see, in my original novel, I I'd written 21 chapters. But then my American publisher came along, and he told me to cut out the last chapter. And you see, I needed the money. I needed the publishing money, and so I let him do it. But of course, when Stanley Kubrick, that famous director, took over the movie rights, well, he left out the 21st chapter as well. And since he's famous, everyone knew the movie. And they didn't really know the book, but they associated it with the movie. And so I'm always associated with the movie, as much as I don't want to be. Hmm. What a shame. Well, yes. I mean, in the movie, there's no redemption value. There's, there's no redemption. Without that 21st chapter, there's nothing. And the book, ultimately, is about redemption. And I guess that's just why I've always resented that film. But in the long run, I suppose I'm thankful for it, for what it did for me financially. But I'm bored of this topic. I mean, I've spent my whole life talking and defending this book. See, it's not even my best novel. I have so many more. I wrote so many novels that are superior to A Clockwork Orange, but as hard as I try, A Clockwork Orange always seems to live on while my other ones seem to die. So unfortunate, but speaking of death, uh, did you know that I am dead? Why yes, seeing that we're in the afterlife. Oh yes, well let me rephrase that. Do you know that I am dead much too young? Well, as you see, you see, I was I actually died on the eve of my 17th birthday. Oh, such a shame. See, if Septimus had only come to my room, all of this would have been avoided. I would have had a nice interaction with him instead of a fatal interaction with Fire. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but I haven't read your play. Who is Septimus? Oh, well, he was a tutor of mine for many years, and he was the genius and fancy, handsome and a flirtatious man. I suppose I fancied him for his brain and its wits and his his views on math and science, but eventually we had a little bit of a secret romance, even though it might have been a little bit more one-sided on my part. Isn't it scandalous, a romance between a pupil and her teacher? <laughs> well, compared to my novels, not so much. Speaking of that, I don't believe I've met your author yet, have I? No, I don't think you have, seeing as Tom is still very much alive. You see, Tom Stoppard and you, I believe, were born around the same time, World War II? Grew up then? Ah, oh, yes. What a dreadful time. I hear that. Well, Tom was born in the 1930s, I believe, in Czechoslovakia. It was there that he, you know, started to grow up, but as soon as the war came out and Nazis invaded Czechoslovakia, he had to leave because he had some minute Jewish heritage. After that, he traveled around Asia for quite a bit, lost his father, poor guy. I think he actually, because of the loss of his father, then he writes a lot of loss in his novels, a lot of death. Anyway, I digress. He eventually settled in India for a while with his mother, where, her mother, where his mother met a nice officer there, and they got married, and he eventually moved back to London, actually. It was there that he was educated, well, but he didn't actually finish secondary school because he left early to become a reporter. Oh, well, I myself didn't really have a gentleman's education. I went to college, but I studied music there. And my career as a composer, well, did not go as planned, and I began writing. And why, well, music has um, stayed a constant in my life. You see, it's been an important factor in almost all of my works of literature. Interesting. I do enjoy music, but I have never been any good at playing or anything like that. Actually, I am quite good at math and science. Those are more my fortes. You might have heard of a lot of formulas I have actually created when I was quite young, but those were never put under my name because I died short. I died very young and people didn't get to experience my formulas. They were later found by other great mathematicians. Not to brag or anything, but I am quite a big deal for that. Well, what a shame. Why, for such a young girl, you seem very witty and smart. Oh, don't tell my mother that. She would have your head. You see, my mother detests that I am quite, that, that I'm quite smart. She thinks it wards off the suitors, but 
You know, she's still trying to find me some, even though she is dead. It is quite entertaining. Anyway, enough about my crazy mother. Um, people talk so peculiarly in your books. I was wondering if there's any reason for that. Is that how people talk nowadays? No. No, fortunately it's not. You see, I simply made up that language. It's a mix of Russian and English, you can probably tell. Um, it's called Nadsat. And basically I, I did that so it would muffle the response that the reader would have if I had written A Clockwork Orange in any language, such as English or any already used language. And so that's what I did. I, that was the only way in which I could have written that book. Oh yes, well, I'm sorry. Um, did you have any influences on you, you know, as a writer? Oh, well, yes, Shakespeare. In fact, my early works were just essays written about him and his life and his, his plays. And then my, actually, the last novel I ever wrote, um, he was a character in it. And so, yeah, Shakespeare is a huge influence on me. I know that he influenced Tom Stoppard as well, is that correct? Yes, that's true. In fact, his first big hit, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, although it re re um, received mixed reviews, it was about two minor characters from Shakespeare's Hamlet. So I think that influenced him quite a lot, yes. You might have seen them around, sort of dim-witted, but with hearts of gold. Yeah, they are very interesting characters to say the least. Yes, I do believe I've seen them around here, in fact. Oh, would you look at the time? I must be going. I actually have to greet some newcomers around here. I hear David Bowie has just come. David who?